So recently, I set myself a challenge. I gave myself just two hours to trade the horse racing markets on the Betfair exchange to see how much profit I could lock in during such a short period of time. The rules were simple. The clock starts on the first race I trade at 12.15 and therefore my time runs out two hours later at 2.15 then we trade horse races where I feel I can adequately read the betting market so there could potentially be large chunks of time where I'm sitting on my hands and not trading if I don't feel like I can make money out of the markets on screen in front of me. So kicking off with trade number one. I can see that the favourite in this novice race at Newbury is trading at the price of more or less evens. And in this instance, I think that the runner is actually going to drift. So as you can see, as a result of me thinking that the price on this runner is going to drift, I start to lay the favourite. And as you can see, as my lay bets get matched with the backers, the size of my position on the runner starts to increase. And after I'm happy with my total bet size, which in this case is £400, I place the exact same amount of money on the other side of the market to cash out of my position. So as you can see, I've split my £400 stake up into 10 £40 back bets. And now we have a position set. If the price drifts up, I'm going to be starting to make money. Whereas if I'm wrong and the price starts to get shorter, I'll start to lose money. The orange box, which you can see here, is the absolute worst case scenario for me. And it's the maximum that I would let this trade go against me. However, nine times out of ten, I'll be able to spot when this trade is starting to go wrong and cash out for just a small loss. So jumping forward slightly, as time starts to pass, the favourite's price has indeed started to drift up. And currently, I could take my money and cash out right now for £12 if I wanted to. But, as I'm confident that the price will get even higher, I don't cash out just yet because the larger the price gets, the more cash I'm going to be able to lock in. And you can see that the price has continued to move up, which is exactly what I suspected was going to happen on this trade. And the market has reached our first £40 back bet, which will allow us to slowly start hedging and cashing out of our position. Now, as a lot of money just rapidly entered the market and started to lay our runner, in turn pushing the price out even further, I simply cancelled my remaining £40 back orders and as I think the price is going to head up even further, I simply pop the remainder of my back position in further up the market at higher back prices. However, shortly after, it started to become apparent that the market had hit a roadblock and it was unlikely to head any further up. Therefore, I decided here was a good point to pop in the remaining £120 to close out my position, therefore locking me in a profit of £25.20. So just before we carry on with the video and we find out exactly how much cash I was able to lock in, sat right here at my computer screen over that two hour period, I want to let you in on a series that I've been working on over the last few months for you, if you're interested in making some cash out of these trading markets yourself. My goal with this series is to remove as much of the complicity from trading as possible. I break the markets down in detail from defining the bottom and the top of the traded ranges, through to the dreaded two minute mark and how to deal with that and use it to your advantage. And on top of that, to put the cherry on the cake, I'll provide you with one of my favourite pre-off trading strategies that I use on a day-to-day -day basis so that you can make money from it too. So the series contains everything that I wish that I had access to when I was starting out trying to learn how to trade these pre-off horse racing markets coming off the back of some huge success and some huge profits in the world of match betting. You know, from the way the videos are explained through to how the strategy is articulately broken down each step of the way. This is really a resource that which, which would have helped me out very much and saved me a lot of hardship when I was starting out. So yeah, if you are interested, guys, the link is down below in the video description. Have a look at it, check it out, see if it's for you. And without further ado, we'll jump back into the video. So moving on to trade number two. This time we have a free horse race, and this time all of the money is arriving into this market really late on, as a result of the previous race that we were just trading only just finishing up. This time, once again, we have a favourite, which is priced at odds of 2.0, which is evens, and as you can see, I've actually opted to back the runner this time. So the more the price gets shorter, the more profit we're going to be making. If the runner's price comes up past our green zone, and then it heads into the red, we'll start to make a loss. But as you can see, shortly after entering my position and gaining an early profit, it starts to look like the position has started to turn a little bit sour as the price has started to move up back towards my entry point. 
So in this instance, I decided to play it safe, put my cash back in at the same price I entered and therefore have a completely break even position where the end result is zero. The next market that pops up, which I feel I can get a good read on, is this one right here at Lingfield. Once again, I'm looking to perform my trade on the favourite, and this time it's called Sun God. So this time I'm going to be looking to place a lay bet. Now this race is a nursery, so we have quite a little bit of a volatile market up until this point, most notably with the favourite, which has received quite a little bit of a gamble. So this time I'm looking to anticipate when the gamble has concluded, subsequently pop a lay bet into the market and hopefully ride the price back up in the other direction. And as you can see, this is where I think the bottom of the move is going to be, and therefore I've placed a £200 lay bet. As the price heads up a little bit further and my confidence starts to grow a little bit more, I actually add another £50 to my position, providing me with a net stake of £250, which I need to pop in on the other side of the market to complete my trade. And like you've seen me do before, I offset all of that exposure into smaller bets, this time 10 £25 bets. As time moves by, I have about £150 left to put into the market and I can cash out for about £23 worth of profit. I then start to feel like the market is going to push up even further, therefore of course I'm going to be making more profit, and I decide to cancel off my remaining offset orders, and then subsequently put them in further up the ladder, looking to ride this trend out for as long as possible. And after a little while, I once again start to get that feeling that the market has started to become a little bit roadblocked. So I back the runner with my remaining £100, cancel off the remaining orders because we don't need them anymore, netting me a profit of £37 and 3p. So as time continued to pass by, my two hours become shorter and shorter, I continued to work away at the markets, looking for opportunities where I felt I could adequately predict what was going to happen and therefore there were some markets which I just didn't trade because I didn't feel like I could do that. In the fourth race I hit a tiny win of £1.20, subsequently I took a £6.67 loss on the fifth race, the sixth race that I traded net me a profit of £4.34, race seven saw me take a small loss of £1.67 and as time continued to pass by and I completed my trade on race seven I realised that I had just 10 minutes left of the challenge and that means there was just one race left to trade. And that final race is this one right here. As you can see, it's a two mile, four furlong handicap race at Newcastle. So with this one, I think the price on the favorite is gonna drift up. So of course I start to place my lay bets into the market in the anticipation that that is gonna be occurring. With this trade, I expect the price to drift up a little bit further than the current price in which we're at right now up to round about odds of three. And as you can see, I've got my offset orders on the back side queuing up, split up into 20 pound stakes across various prices. And as the market picks up volume and liquidity, I cancel off the orders that are queuing up as I get the sense that the market could just push up that little bit further. But as time continues to go on, it becomes clearer and clearer that the market refuses to go any higher. Therefore, I decided to take my profit out and end up walking away with a guaranteed profit of £12.76. So as you can see, it is very much possible to make money out of these markets. And it doesn't really matter if you're not a super big fan of the sport of horse racing or you don't really know that much about it, as I've demonstrated within this video. So yeah, if you are interested in giving this a go and you want to start making some money out of these markets yourself, Check out the link in the video description, you can get started right now. Perhaps you're nearly done with your match betting and all your accounts are almost completely state restricted and you need something else to continue making money. I'd recommend checking out this, this is the journey I took, I'm very glad I did and it's helped me continue making money from my betting. But yeah, without further ado, what we're going to do is we're going to jump back into the video and we're going to find out exactly how much cash I made throughout this two hour window. Ultimately, I ended up trading eight horse races over the two hours. I won money on five of my trades, scratched and broke even on one of my trades, and I lost on two of my trades. This gave me a strike rate of 75%, which accounts for the scratch trade as well. My average trade result was just over £9.05p per trade. Therefore, this gave me an overall profit 
of £72.50 over the course of the two hour period. Not bad for somebody who started off as a match better and has minimal knowledge of the sport of horse racing itself. And this form of trading is what I'm doing on a regular basis. Take this video right here, for example, which has just popped up on screen. Click that video now and that will show you how I net a whopping £150 plus profit from trading these markets in just under five minutes.